You like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... Twenty, forty, seven, eight, fifty-eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf.
sometimes be a disciplinarian. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Bigby. this guy. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. this gonna go on Bigby Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on.
Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Chair, huh? I've only got the one. So yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. 
Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. Yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder at Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here.
it's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric looks like jeans, it doesn't tell me much. some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Nobody there. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should... move her... before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I... Don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The woodsman threatened to kill her with me in the room. Maybe he wants me to know that he did it. I suppose it's possible. I 
I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. 
Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Um, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty, and they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Feast. Colin and his brothers. Yeah, that's her all right. Long time ago. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Beauty in happier days. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Had. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Exquisite design from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Buffkin, translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's it say about that? It says. Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animal shit gold. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for.
Hear me, blah blah able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice in phrasing, but... It's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Big B, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Enough, all right, just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed.
What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taken off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog.
I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's all. A little scrape. All right, Toad. Whatever you say. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Christ's sakes, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Okay, Sheriff, now what? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that.
prove something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a pulpers apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? Bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Thamodi. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place.
It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the princess now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive, if necessary. Or... you can. Just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Oh my god. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be alright. No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Water. Bigby, water. Kitchen. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <coughs> they... Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this.
What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Sharp, and there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Still a little sticky. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot him himself. Stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Stay here. No. Hey, stop. Leave me alone!
Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl, that's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Except you're lying in a dirty owl. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. 
This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. Whose is that? Someone who left. Enough already. Just tell me where he is. I told you. I don't know. He a regular? 
I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? Buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Paper towels in the saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. 
the shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I it swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, good. You should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
had enough. I'm the lapdog, huh? Here. Fetch. You fucking monster! Whiskey. Double. All this never happened. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Fuck. You wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. 
We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. We can arrange that. What did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you?